I'm Tom Hardy and you're watching the Venom vlog. One man here. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to an episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog, and man, how cool is that intro? A lot of you guys have said, man, wouldn't it be great if you got Tom Hardy to do an intro of the show? Do you think he knows about your show? Do you think Ruben Fleischer knows about your show? Well, I think I kind of got my answer tonight when I talked to them about it. They didn't seem like they knew what the show was, uh, but when I told them about it, they got very excited, and they were like, hey, that's great that there's someone out there, you know, just talking about the character that we all love and that kind of pulled us all together pulled them together making the movie uh you know pulled everyone at sony together to make the movie too uh and then pulled the fans together uh even the haters together you know like everyone who has an opinion on venom uh you know that's it's good you know that that keeps characters around for a long long time and uh and so you know going to this event tonight i almost didn't go and i'm so glad i made the decision to go because look at that we did it. We got Tom Hardy to do an intro for this show. I mean, like, it's almost like I want to end the show now, but I can't because I want to play that as much as possible. So you will see that and the Ruben Fleischer intro, um, you know, periodically along with the other great actors that we got from the movie. And who knows, maybe one day we'll get an opportunity to get one or two more uh, if they do sequels, whatever. Uh, that would be awesome. But for now, I mean, come on. Like, I'm on cloud nine. That was really awesome. Uh, so the movie. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting to know what I thought about the movie. And obviously a lot of you already know that in general I did like the movie. Um, I thought it was good. It was a solid movie. I wasn't like blown away by it, but I was blown away by the fact that it wasn't as bad as everyone said it was. That was the big thing was I really was like nervous. Now, you know, granted I missed the first five minutes of the movie, so I will do a full in-depth review of this movie, you know, a couple episodes from now. We're going to post some other stuff, some comic book stuff. Uh, we'll post some other things, maybe other reviews, or we'll talk about other reviews, whatever. Uh, we'll get into all that for a couple days, and then maybe like end of the weekend or early next week, we'll post a full review, and I'll break things down. And then we'll do like, we'll pick scenes maybe from the movie, and do breakdowns of those scenes, what I liked, what I didn't like. So we'll, we'll get into it for sure. We're going to sink our teeth in eventually. But for now, this is just my general thoughts. And my general thoughts was, while I was watching it, like I said, I missed the the first five minutes because I ran out to get that Ruben Fleischer in intro for the show but when I came back in it was uh you know there was like a ship crashing on the planet and uh and I won't go any any more spoilers or details we're gonna just kind of play it loose now and we're just like that's the most I'll probably say about the movie for the most part um but uh yeah so then they start off with the crash ship and so from there I was like okay I'm, I'm here now I'm gonna watch the movie but I'm freaking out and I was like I'm not gonna tell uh my friends yet that I got this I'm gonna wait till after the movie and uh and so we're watching it and as the movie kept progressing like first end of first act I was like that was pretty good like I was like that was I was like waiting for something really horrible to be there and I know some people will be like oh there is horrible things there there's like bad acting or there's bad dialogue or whatever but I felt like a lot of it fit i don't know i i think maybe i'm a bad judge for this and not just in a biased way but maybe because i spent the last 11 months reading venom comics comics that i haven't read since i was a kid and now have a different perspective as an adult of seeing how interesting i guess eddie brock is how off he is you know i always describe eddie brock uh, in a way as music like if you're constructing a song you have these rhythms, you have these beats, you have these moments where everything's got to play. Oh, well, we want to add a piano to the song. Well, it makes sense to add it here. You know, that's kind of how, you know, songs are constructed. And then if you're telling a joke, it's like set up punchline, you know. And it's like these, there's structures and rhythms to things. There's flows to stuff. And I feel like Eddie Brock is naturally against most flow. Uh, so if you have like a joke, he'll say it at the wrong moment. He won't hit it at the punchline part. He'll set up twice or something and then say it, or he won't set up and he'll just go right to something he thinks is funny or whatever. He's got a really weird offbeat sense of humor. And I felt like that played well in the movie. And I thought the, you know, characterizations of Anne and Eddie were pretty good. I mean, you, I kind of liked them at the, you know, at the beginning of the movie as a couple. I was kind of digging that. But then when, you know, Eddie ultimately makes some really interesting choices that I normally you don't see lead characters in these kind of movies make, I thought that added a lot to, you know, the character and it made the character. Like to me, I see people when their reviews saying like, oh, Eddie was too much this or he's too much that. But I'm like, yeah, but that's who Eddie is. And that's definitely the characterization 
they did in this movie and they base it off of the comic books and it's pretty accurate to the comics and i know some things don't work on screen as they do in the comics but i felt like the stuff they changed kind of worked for me uh some things i had issues with for sure i definitely have criticisms for this movie it's not like a 10 out of 10 for me but man the whole time i was watching it i was going so when does it get as bad as Catwoman? Like, when do I get bored out of my mind and want to leave the theater? When I saw Catwoman, I bought uh, Batman the Animated Series, I think season three or four, on DVD when it was first released. And it came with like a $6 towards a ticket to Catwoman. And that was the only reason I saw Catwoman, because I was able to see the movie for like $2 uh, in Florida. And when I went and saw the movie, I wanted to walk out. I was like, I'm mad that I spent $2 and two hours of my life to watch this. I didn't feel that here. I don't think this movie is that bad. Um, I genuinely liked a lot of stuff in it, and I was surprised by that because maybe because my expectations were so low. So who knows, maybe it helps to go in with low expectations. Um, I know that sounds weird in a way to be like, oh, go in thinking at the bottom of the barrel, and ooh, look, it's not a bottom of it. I'm not saying do that. I'm just saying, like, you know, make up your own mind. If you're out there and you want to see this movie, I would say go see it. I know it's sitting out at like a 28% on Rotten Tomatoes right now, which is just crazy to me. This movie, to me, is not as bad as 28 uh, on, you know, on Rotten Tomatoes. But it is to all those people who review movies for a living. So that's their opinion, and this is mine. And if you agree with it, great. If you don't, that's great, too. Let me know down in the comments below. We don't have to get into spoilers. We can save that for, you know, an upcoming episode. But for now, I would love to hear your general thoughts. Like, did you see the movie? I know some of you haven't. It's not, you know, by the time I post this, the movie's probably still a day away from coming out. Um, and early, you know, like, uh, you know, here in the U.S., it'll uh, be the 3rd, October 3rd when I post this. Um, but, uh, you know, so it's still early. So if you haven't seen it, that's fine. You know, if you didn't watch this video, you know, I understand. But hopefully you did because I, I tried really hard not to do any spoilers in here. And I was just trying to give my general reaction. And my general reaction is positive. Uh, I I wouldn't give this movie at nearly that bad of a score. I would say this movie to me is maybe like an 8 out of 10, like seven and a half, eight out of 10, somewhere in that ballpark. But I think after seeing it a second time, maybe I can get a couple questions I have answered and maybe that'll become a definitive 8 or a definitive 7.5. But I would say I'm in that ballpark. And for me, that's worth seeing. That's worth seeing on the big screen because there's a lot of cool things in this movie and I thought a lot of great, uh, accurate things to the character in this movie. Plus, there's at least one or two surprises um, that I think a lot of you guys some of you probably hoped for and didn't think you were going to get and you kind of get it and uh, and i liked it it was it was a really good moment um but i won't say any more than that uh and then definitely sit till after the credits there is a after credit scene like midway through the credits and then there's something at the very end that i don't want to spoil but i would say it's not mandatory that you see it but if you are curious about upcoming universe stuff maybe you should check it out um but yeah other than that Thank you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you think down below. If you've seen the movie, if not, if you have any questions for me, uh, if it's not too spoilery, I'll try to answer them the best I can in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.